Hi, Bob Bob from Polygon here. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to properly make use of Polygon materials in Keyshot. Before we get started, let's take a look at the material that we'll be using. It's this one, Wood Flooring 044. It's one of our free materials, so feel free to download and follow along. Um, but yeah, let's head over to Keyshot. Okay, so I've set up a uh, simple scene in Keyshot. It's literally just a plane that we're going to use for our floor material and a interior lighting uh, HDR, as you can see. And that is about it. Now, um, I'm using the pro version of Keyshot 7. Um, Keyshot 8, the UI has changed a little bit, but in terms of functionality, at least in this, for what we're doing today, um, it's exactly the same. First of all, uh, you need to make sure that the material type is set to advanced. By default, it is on diffuse, but set it to advanced, and that will give you a, a load more options um, for importing. And that's what we're going to start doing now. So let's start off by importing the diffuse texture. So I'm going to click on this little texture icon and then navigate to wood flooring 044, like so, and bring in the color map. And straight away that's mapped quite nicely. Um, we don't need to do anything to that. Good. So I'm going to click on properties again, um, just because it lets us access all of the different textures, um, which we're going to need in a moment. But yeah, anyway, um, let's bring in the specular, uh, which in this case is the roughness map. Now we're going to have to do something to that in a minute, um, uh, but I'll explain that when we get to it. Let's load up the roughness. There we go. And I'll jump back to properties, click on the roughness map, load that in as well. But what we need is that the workflow we're using here is known as the specular gloss workflow um, so it's actually the gloss texture we need to bring in which is basically the, the invert of a roughness value again we'll be fixing that in a moment um, and then I'm going to jump back over to I'm getting lost what I'm doing now there we go <laughs> properties um, and we want to bring in a normal texture in fact that's easier to bring in from here so let's just click on bump texture map and then bring in our normal good so we have all the textures in uh, inputted the problem is we need to um, invert a couple of these textures to start off with so what I'll do is click on the material graph and that will bring up the same four textures that we've just loaded in um, but in a nice little node view like this now key shot uh, the, the non pro version of key shot doesn't have this um, so some of these changes you might have to make in an external editor like Photoshop I'm, I'm assuming that we're using Keyshot Pro for these tutorials uh, so we'll be using these nodes here so with that done I'm going to go to utilities and color invert and what that will allow me to do is invert the reflection and gloss maps when we invert the reflection map that makes it uh, basically a specular map uh, which means we can plug it straight into specular and then if I grab one of those again and input the gloss map that inverts it into a roughness map which I can then feed into roughness like so and if we take a look at our material we will notice that it's still not really looking as we'd expect um, if I try and get to an angle that would capture the light a bit like so it's not really doing so and there's a very good reason for that in the majority of 3D applications, at this point, I'd be talking about color spaces. I'd be asking you to load in the color map using a sRGB color space, um, and I'd be advising you to load in the roughness map in a, uh, a linear color space. Keyshot doesn't have these, uh, these options available, but we can get around it just by tweaking the textures a little bit. So let me just click on the uh, gloss map, for example, and we can now see some, some various sliders up here. And what we're gonna do is just manually, manually adjust the uh, brightness and contrast to get the effect that we want. So let me make this window a little bit smaller, just so we can see the, uh, see the, the model there. Uh, and then I'll scroll down and just start to adjust the brightness. And what we'll do is we'll lower it. Nope, because it's still a gloss map at that point, isn't it? We want to raise it. I'm going to raise it to like a value of 5, 
just for example, that's not what we're going to leave it at. But you'll see when it's on that value, we're starting to get the, the wooden floor sort of effect that we want, that nice kind of shiny reflective surface. Um, again, if you're using the uh, non-pro version of Keyshot, I believe you can still do this via... Hmm... Possibly not, actually. This again might be something you need to do in an external editor and just brighten up the uh, the the texture in Photoshop or whatever, and then load it into Keyshot. Uh, but again, I'm assuming you have the pro version, so we're going to stick with the nodes for now. Okay, so let's lower this down to say three and see if we're still getting that same sort of effect. The arm about one, one's where it disappears. So what's what about one point five? There we go. Maybe one point eight. And now we're starting to see we're, we're at the boundary of where we want to be for our gloss map because we don't want the uh, the roughness to be the same all the way over. It's not supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be mildly different. And we're starting to get that at about a value of 2.1 for this particular material. Now you'll need to adjust this depending on the material that you're using. Um, and it is a matter of eyeballing it. There's no sort of set figure here, I'm afraid. But in general, a value of two, well, somewhere between 1.9 and 2.1 should just about cover the uh, the intended look, I think. Yeah, a bit lower. Yeah, there we go. Just checking these other textures here. For normal map, we want to turn on normal map to make sure it's getting the correct information from those normals. And you can see it slightly improves the uh, the look of the sort of cre uh, creases in between the boards. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. Now in the next tutorial, we're going to take this a little further, and develop this node group um, to include some surface imperfections like smudges and scratches and whatnot, uh, which will take the realism to the next level. Uh, but for now, that is how you set up a material in Keyshot. So in summary, we've downloaded a material from polygon.com, brought it into Keyshot um, by manually importing the textures. We've then loaded up the node editor uh, to make some adjustments, uh, namely inverting the roughness, uh, at, well, the gloss and reflection maps um, to suit the inputs of Keyshot. And we also made some manual adjustments to the brightness of the gloss map um, to counter out the fact that Keyshot doesn't have a um, choice of color space when importing textures.